Alright, uh, we're gonna do a new playthrough. Uh, this game is known as Stuntman Ignition. Uh, this was one of my most favorite childhood games. But the thing about this game is, is that I never had the chance to record it. Uh, mainly because um, I didn't have the equipment and I didn't have the game because I got rid of it a long time ago. But I went to go rebuy it and uh, I also got my recording software hooked up. So we'll be able to show this in tip top quality. Give it a moment for it to load up though. I'm going to be quiet because the cutscene is going to come on. Hope you all enjoy it. Every mangled mass of steel has a story to tell. A tale of speed, guts, talent, style. driver willing to risk it all to create Hollywood's greatest moments. Stuntman Ignition. All right, that was the intro sequence. Give me a minute though. Uh, hold up. My, my computer just not charged. Hold up, give me a minute. Welcome to Multiclash, kid. This is where stuntmen come to let loose, hone their skills, and battle it out backlot style. Take on the world's best drivers in movie scene challenge, stunt tourney, backlot race, or the ultimate in stunt mayhem, backlot battle. The goal in battle is to rack up major points by stunting anywhere you can and by stealing the rest. Hit all the director stunts, complete the laps, and stunt as much as possible. If you miss too many director stunts, you'll strike out and your score will reset to zero. If you're feeling aggressive, try ramming an opponent to pull off a string stealer. This will steal his entire stunt string and add it to your total score. Use your nitro to catch up on other drivers, and if you run out, just continue stunting to earn more boost. Keep your eyes open on the back lot. There are a lot of shortcuts and stunt opportunities to keep that string going and your score climbing. If the servers will still run. But I haven't played this game in years, so I don't know if they will. Like, this game is really, really old now. Like, it, it's super old. Like, it almost is ancient. See, it ain't even letting me connect. Look, look, look at this. I 
And uh, now nah, I'm, I'm probably just gonna do the story mode because it just keeps doing it. Now nah, it's gonna keep doing this. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. It's just gonna keep doing it. I might do it later, but I don't know how much uh, how much time I got to record because I don't got a lot of space on my computer. So I'm gonna do it later. And I not only got the game the ability to record this, I'm gonna do uh, Beyond Two Souls. I'm gonna do games like Need for Speed the Run, uh, Need for Speed Undercover. I'm gonna do Mafia Two. Oh, we're gonna do Mafia Two. Hold up, let me skip this. Yep, we're gonna do Mafia Two. We're gonna do Modern Warfare Two. Uh, a bunch of games, Borderlands. Let's go to career. Oh, hold on. gotta connect online. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we connecting online? I thought I just said I wasn't gonna do online. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> man, I'm a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Sorry that it's taking it so long, guys. I haven't played this game so long. <laughs> I can, I can actually do uh, Max Payne 3 too. I'm gonna record a bunch of shit. I got a bunch of games on here that I can record now. There's a lot going on right now, but just listen to me. I know this is just a short commercial, but there's a big time director, Richard Langston. He's on set. He's looking for a driver for his next film. Okay, they're ready for you now. This is your shot to get your foot in the door. Three, don't blow it. One, action. Hello, I'm Richard Langston, director of Aftershock. Welcome to British Columbia. We're shooting a disaster movie up here, so you'll have plenty of work. Uh, pyrotechnics, burning buildings, lava raining down from the sky. Hold on a second, please. This is Langston. Could you talk to him for me, Kate? Sure, not a problem. Hey, Sorry, Champ, I'm Kate Winthrop, the first AD. I'm told this is your first time on a big set, so I'll walk you through how it works. We'll have you wired up in your vehicle, and your coordinator will call out all the major director stunts we need you to hit, okay? He'll also mark them on your heads-up display with yellow stunt icons. These include drifts, gaps, jumps, closes, and other maneuvers. We'll be using a point system to judge your runs. All the directors do it. It's how we keep track of the drivers in the biz. More precisely you perform, more points you'll earn. Fail a director stunt and you'll get a strike. Five strikes and Richard will have to call a reshoot, which won't make him happy. Once you finish a run successfully, he'll look at your points and give you a scene rating in the form of movie stars. You can earn up to five stars if you really nail it. Richard's been doing this a long time and he's well respected. Do what he asks and you'll start making a name for yourself. One second. Richard, anything else? Still on with the studio. Look, it was nice to meet you. I'll see you on the set. All right, kid, let's get you prepped for your work on this movie. As your stunt coordinator, it's what they pay me for. You'll drive four different vehicles in Aftershock, an R3000 sports coupe, an older SUV, a dirt bike, and a fire chief's patrol car. Each handles differently, and it may take you a while to get the hang of them, so just relax. These sets are big and chaotic, with live explosions, projectiles, and rivers of lava all around you. Avoid the lava, or the whole production will have to stop while the crew pulls you out. We've got some great stunts planned. There's a high-risk sequence racing over burning rooftops, and a huge finale where the town gets ripped apart. Before each scene, I'll give you shots of your key stunts with tips on how to pull them off. So, just listen to me, and you'll get through this in one piece.
For your first scene, you'll double for the town's troublemaking drifter in his R3000 as he flees the volcanic eruption. The highlight will be this huge jump over a burning semi. The key is to hit the ramp straight. That'll set you up for the stunt that follows. As soon as you land, you'll have a pair of precision drivers coming at you fast and you'll need to gap between them. It's dangerous, so be careful. And don't be afraid of retakes. Mr. Langston's a picky director and it can take a while to make him happy. Roll tape. This is our first big setup, everyone. Let's focus and start the film right. I'm basically going to do a 100% playthrough on this game to get all of the stars and get five stars on every single mech. I did that the last time I played this, but it wasn't on tape. Now I'm going to do this on tape and... Uh, yeah, uh, this might take me a minute because I'm going for five stars for every single mission. Like the, the the look, if you look on the top screen there, it says string it. I'm gonna go for string it. So let's do this. And as you can see, I'm on my V Snake profile. Uh, what is it V Snake? V, uh, v, v, v Snake. So if any of you guys want to add me, feel free to add me. But I've got things to do, so I might not be able to get back to you immediately. Anyways, let's get to the video. Three, two, one, action! Cap the cars. Drift turn right. Oh, I see. Three, two, see? one, action! Cap the cars. that again I'm going for five stars and uh, since I'm so tornado, I'm gonna make my car purple so let's go to purple purple all right let's three do it. two one action get the cars oh you gotta three, be fucking two, kidding me I one. didn't even get five action. seconds of this shit get the cars Bullshit. Turn right. The logic is bullshit. Over the tanker. The logic is bullshit. Get the cars. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Two, one, action. Get the cars. Bitch. Trip turn right. You fucker. Three. You got to drift One. right into the... Action! All right. Get the cars. You Three, fucker, you two, piece of shit. One. Action! Get the cars. Oh. Three, 
Action! Oh, dude, was so good, too. Get the car! It's always the good ones that fucking are so much worse. You can be doing it one the next minute, and the next minute you get fucked over. Three, two, one, action! Get the cars! Okay, one spot, fucking out. Trip turn right! That's the best really good one. Alright. Uh, we'll do the next scene, and I think I might call it a video. Alright. I gotta look at the director and show you it. But, matter of fact, I think I already did that already. Yeah, I did that already. Stuntman Ignition is all about stunt points, and stunt stringing is how you rack up the big numbers. Every stunt earns you points and goes into your stunt string. If you perform a stunt within two seconds of another stunt, that will continue your stunt string and add another number to your multiplier. Now, you're stunt stringing. Be sure to watch your stunt indicator on the upper left. It tells you what stunt you just performed and how long you have until your string breaks. You have to stunt before the string fades out. If it breaks, your string will be cashed out and added to your total score on the right. What stunts continue a string? All of them. Throw a drift, get close to anything in the scene, pass through a time gate, hit a director's stunt, jump a ramp, you get the idea? Look for different ways or objects throughout the course to keep your string alive. Now if you want that fifth star, you're gonna have to string it. That means keep a continuous string from your first stunt to your last. Your total score should read zero if you string the entire level together. Try the stringing rehearsal and see if you can do it. All right, let's do it then. I'm I'm game. I'm snake, nigga. Let's snake through this fucking shit, yeah. Like a shit, like the chicane turn and shit. Three, two, one, go! Pass under the semi. Drift left. Pass close to the crate. Sorry guys. Three, two, I gotta do that. One, go. I was only a perfect man. Pass under the semi. Drift left. Pass. You Close fucking the bitch. Three, two, one, go. Pass under the 
semi. Trip left. Pass close to the crate. Trip left. Pass close. Trip left. Get the jump. You what?